the narcissist hasn't forgotten about you. They don't remember you as a person. They are very superficial. They don't really care about that stuff. But there are certain things that they do remember. They see you as a source of fuel. You provide something to them. You give them power. But that's all it was. They don't care about you as a person. They don't care about who you are. They don't care about what makes you you. Your uniqueness. What makes you special. When the narcissist remembers you, they're thinking about an advantage or benefit that you gave to them. Your attention and admiration. The ability to control you, which then made them feel powerful and significant. Money, material things, sex. You gave them something and that was what made them stick around for so long. They were gradually siphoning this fuel out of you over a long period of time. Until your health began to deteriorate. Maybe your money began to run out. But you didn't notice at first. Because it was done over a long period of time. It's like putting a frog in warm water and then slowly bringing it to a boil. You didn't perceive the danger until it was too late. Because the temperature was increased so gradually. Narcissists are emotionally immature toddlers. They just look like adults on the outside. If you look closely, their behaviours will resemble that of a child. When they are trying to get something out of you, first they will act nice or sad. But if you don't give in, they will then become very angry. They will have temper tantrums. It's just another means of them getting what they want. Because all they really care about is getting their needs met. They are constantly in survival mode. They don't have the capacity to consider you or anyone else. Their only focus is on surviving emotionally. And they are dependent on other people to keep them alive. The reason for this is because when they were children, they abandoned who they really are. They abandoned their true self. And they then developed a false self, which is their alternative personality. It is an adaptation to a hostile environment in childhood. It is a coping mechanism to defend their true self, which they are ashamed of. 
they are following this false narrative of their false self which is meant to be this larger than life character but underneath this character is their true self which they hate and are ashamed of they are constantly running from their true self they don't want anything to do with it because they believe that it is defective they believe that it is not good enough the false self can often come across as embarrassing and a disgusting character once you know what they're really about Just being around them makes you feel shame or awkwardness. A feeling of disgust, loathing or strong disapproval aroused by something unpleasant or offensive. It repels you. It sickens you. It causes you discomfort and unhappiness. Because they're so unfriendly and inconsiderate. They are offensively impolite and bad-mannered. It's very distasteful. It disgusts you. They are very unlikable people. They're not nice at all. They're very selfish. They lack consideration for other people because they're only concerned with their own profit or pleasure to have an exaggerated sense of their own importance or abilities. They are unpleasantly proud and they behave as if they are more important than or know more than other people. They have a strong sense of entitlement. They believe that they're inherently deserving of privileges or special treatment. They believe that you owe them the world. It's just not something you want to be around. No self-respecting person would ever want to be around them once they know what they're like. They're very unlikable. After the discard, the narcissist will often try to come back to you as though nothing ever happened. They will act like they left you because of something you did wrong or because you weren't good enough. But then they come back to you as though nothing happened. Not only that, but they also don't even expect an apology from you. They're able to do this because they know that they were the root cause of the problems. If a narcissist genuinely believed that you did something to them, they would never forgive you. They would hold a grudge against you for the rest of their life. But when they know that they were the root cause of the problems, of course they're going to come back like nothing ever happened. Of course they're going to come back like they never did anything wrong. Right until the end, they denied all of their faults and mistakes. They shifted the blame onto you. They projected their insecurities onto you. They gaslighted you into questioning your own memory, perception or sanity. And that was the perfect setup for them to then come back as though nothing happened. Because they blamed everything on you. So now they can come back like they're the ones giving you another chance. As though you did them wrong. In their minds, 
You're just an object that exists to serve their needs. You were there to give them fuel. And that is why they haven't forgotten about you. They haven't forgotten about what you provided to them. They haven't forgotten about how you made them feel. They go from one fuel source to the next, but they do get bored. They do lose interest. They know that it is only a matter of time until this happens, or until you get sick and tired of dealing with them. Which is why if you look at their phones, if you look at their text messages, emails or social media, in most cases, you will see that they are still in contact with their last fuel source. Because they are already expecting to get bored of you once they have used up all of the fuel that you have to offer. Or they expect that at some point you will figure them out and then want nothing to do with them. And once the discard is finally over, you will then be that person in their text messages emails or on their social media. You will then be the fuel source that they are keeping in their back pocket in case anything goes wrong. And that is why they haven't forgotten about you. Thank you for watching, I hope this video resonated with you, please like, comment, share and subscribe, click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at knoxforthecoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.